So the squad is a little bit different again in this video, but there's not that many changes this time around. I got the 95 Deion Sanders, which is a nasty receiver. And I got the team of the week, Devontae Freeman, also got Martellus Bennett and Conklin and Pouncey on the O-line because the O-line was, was bad. It's been suspect to say the least the past couple of games. I mean, I, I didn't even realize how bad it was until I did some solo challenges, man. That's, pre that's pretty much... The uh, one of the reasons why I didn't post a video yesterday is because I was doing a lot of solo challenges and I was able to complete a lot. So I got a lot of coins back, which is why I decided to pick up some new players. And yeah, Conklin being another team of the year player. So I got a good amount of team of the year players on the squad. I mean, there are a couple I would want to get. I think there's a team of the year DRC, man. That that may be a... A, that's a nasty corner card is all I'm going to say and I wish it wasn't going for like 700,000 coins or I would pick that bastard up 100% because I mean the 91 Antonio Cromarty has been doing well but flashback Revis he's been doing well too like Revis has been getting a lot of picks but he's been he hasn't been doing that well in man coverage I think his man coverage is only like 87 or something which is kind of strange on Revis especially a flashback Revis but still uh, yeah, I'm still looking to uh, get some more corners, even though I have some half decent cornerbacks. But yeah, that that DRC would be nasty, and I don't know, maybe maybe when he drops a lot, I'll be able to pick him up. But yeah, anytime soon, it's not looking like so. Yeah, man, to begin this game, Tyreek Hill embarrassed that man's family, broke off a tackle, and took it to the house after the nasty juke as well. So that was a very solid uh, TD. This Derek Carr has been lighting defenses up ever since I picked him up and yeah all those solo challenges too you should have seen some of the throws this guy was making it was insane this Derek Carr has just been threading the needle he's been doing some insane stuff ever since he's been on the squad and I don't even know what it is man is there like a glitch in this game or something because sometimes your fucking D linemen are lined up offside and it's like nothing you can do about it so that's happened a couple times at least to me so far in the past like week so that's another one so that was, uh, yeah, the, um, that was on third down too. So he wasn't able to, uh, he wasn't able to get anything right there. But still, on third down, he was able to get another chance. Wasn't able to. So I'm getting the ball back as he went forward on fourth down in his own end, like a, like a lunatic, pretty much. So I'm able to get the ball uh, around my own 30. So scrambling. This is something this Derek Carr can also do because he has like 86 speed. That's not the best, but it's definitely something you can deal with. When you're trying to scramble for sure. Trying to go to Tyreek Hill again. And he's getting thrown to the ground. So that's not a big completion right there. So look, look at Devontae Freeman running over people dude. Devontae Freeman. I was going to have a big game from him in this one I was saying. The first half he didn't have that much going. But the second half is where he came to play. And that was a decent run right there. I'm able to get it in the house again. So I'm going up 14 to zip. Right at the end of the first quarter. So yeah, there's still like four seconds left. This guy's obviously looking to get it in the house and get seven. Comes up with a completion right there before the quarter is done. So now at the beginning of the second, for some reason this guy wasn't running the ball that much. I think he had a half decent running back too. I forget who it was. But it was a half decent running back. But he wasn't really running the ball that much at certain points. He was running the ball at some, not, not, every, not every single time he was, but at certain times he was running the ball when he should have been throwing, and he was throwing when he should have been running. But yeah, he was able to pick up a half-decent gain right there twice in a row with his running back, so he's able to get the first down. So he's going to the hurry-up offense because he feels like he needs to hurry. And again, again, somebody is offside. Who is offside? And that comes back to haunt me because I'm getting the pick. I am down the sideline. Look at that! Cutting it back to the inside, embarrassing that man's family too. So I'm just, I'm just out here embarrassing people's families, and for some reason my D linemen are going offside. How the hell is that even happening? So that's twice in the first half, and that was huge because that would have been a pick six, a nasty pick six at that. So he's getting the ball back again, second and four after the six-yard run, dropping back in play action, almost. Getting the pick right there. I was looking over the middle at that guy. And he almost got the pick right there. But he's able to get the first down the next play. Getting thrown to the ground in the process. So after he converts to third and four. Going to the hurry up offense again. I was playing a lot of man coverage in this game. This is why I was kind of uh, realizing that Revis wasn't doing that well in man coverage. But still he's able to pick up a decent gain again. Second and three now. 
Still going to the hurry up offense as he feels he needs to. Not able to pick up the first down on the run up the gut. So it is third and three for sure. This guy would have been going forward on fourth down if he was uh, if it was gonna be if it was gonna be fourth down, this guy would be going for it for sure. So I didn't want to send that much pressure because this guy was getting rid of the ball quickly. And he's not able to pick up the first down right there. So fourth and three. Everybody is in man coverage, I believe. Almost able to get the pick right there again. But he's able to get another first down. So this is a decent drive for this guy. Not anymore. That is a pick. There should have been a pick earlier in this sequence. But I'm getting one as, as a result of that bad throw right there. And speaking of bad throws and bad reads, what is that? That is terrible. That is absolutely terrible. I have no idea what I was even saying. I was just right off the bat. I was like, I'm going to Tyreek Hill. I don't even care. And he gets the pick back. So he's getting the ball back in my own end. And he's marching it up the field again, even though that wasn't a grab right there. I thought that was a grab, but it wasn't a grab. Third and eight. He's able to find a man in the flat, but that is not a first down. So fourth and three. He is going for it yet again. Why would he stop now if he was doing it all damn game? The defense has been playing big so far in this game, but over the middle he's able to pick up a first down. So this is a this is another decent drive from this guy. He's killing a lot of the clock, running a lot of these plays and stuff. But yeah, running into a pile right there, not able to pick up barely anything. So I'm, ca I'm calling some timeouts because I wasn't going to let this guy run the clock down. I wanted to respond back and at least get, th or at least try and get three on the board if this guy was able to get a uh, touchdown or at least three. It wasn't looking like he was going to kick three. This guy was going for it like an animal pretty much every single time. So on third down and 30 seconds left in the second quarter. He is just, he's only picking up like two yards right there. Too bad he actually caught that damn ball, so the clock was still moving. So he does eventually kick the three, and he got the ball back after the half, too. So that, that wasn't that bad. If he got seven on the board, that would have been a little bit, you know, a little bit worse. But still, getting another interception with this Mike Mitchell free safety. He has been a beast ever since I picked him up. Every single person pretty much has been a beast who I've picked up. So the squad has been performing pretty damn well so far. So this is where this is where I wanted to get Devontae Freeman going. I was breaking off a lot of tackles with Freeman. But on third and seven, obviously I'm not looking to throw right here. Derek Carr is taking off again. He is swinging and missing on the tackle. Trying to go for the big hit on the QB as everybody does. You see that QB take off and your eyes, your eyes just light up like a light bulb pretty much. So, not able to come down with that grab in the end zone. So, second and 10. I think he was sending pressure right there. So, I'm able to find Cook in the flat. He picks up the first down at the 4. So, I am on the move. Dropping back again in play action. Scroll, scrambling to the right. I was going to say scrolling out to the right. Scrambling to the right. Finding a man in the end zone. That is Deshaun Jackson. This dude, this team of the week, Deshaun Jackson, has been a, t has been a touchdown machine. Since he's been on the squad, that is yet another touchdown. I find that like Tyree Kill and just every other receiver I've had, they've just been, uh, they've pretty much been the, you know, the people who are driving the ball up the field and then Deshaun Jackson finishes it off with the TDs. So that is some bad man coverage. That may have been Crow. As I was saying, Crow has been good in man coverage. Not right there. He wasn't. I mean, I was supposed to be playing deep right there, but I was playing man coverage. So I didn't really want to, you know, I, I, I thought Crow or Revis, whoever the hell it was, was going to be able to maintain that guy, but apparently he wasn't, so he gets the lengthy TD. So it is now 21-10, to 10. Devontae Freeman on the run right there. I mean, I didn't have that many yards. I had like 27 up until this point, but still, it's only the third quarter, and it's still the second half, so yeah, Devontae Freeman still did have a uh, decent... He, did, he, he still had a decent second half, I mean... I guess instead of a, a good second half, I should have said he had a good fourth quarter because, yeah, the fourth quarter was insane for what Defo Devontae Freeman did. So on second and five, looking to scramble again. I mean, Cook was wide open. He Nobody was. He was dancing wide open right there. But I'm able to pick up another decent gain. Derek Carr, like 60-something yards on the ground in this game. So this guy can do it all. He can thread needles. He can throw deep. And with that chemistry, too, I think his throw deep has increased. So this Derek Carr has been amazing, and I don't even think I'm going to look to pick up a new QB anytime soon. Devontae Freeman can also do it in the passing game as he gets it in the end zone, so it is now 28-10. to 10. This guy needs to score, and he needs to score quick, so he's obviously going to be looking to throw deep. He does. He picks up a very sizable gain right there. gets it to the 47, so he's making his way up the field again, obviously. And I was trying to take away the deep ball as much as possible. Wasn't sending that much pressure. He was sending five wide. 
So obviously he was looking to go deep. He does go deep. Revis! This guy's going to Revis Island and his receiver comes down with it. What is this? Revis, man, don't become a liability like you are currently in the NFL, Revis. That's terrible. So this guy responds back with a quick TD. So 28 to 17, but this is where Devontae Freeman shines. He is free. Nobody is going to catch him, and he's got that breakaway speed all the way to the house. That is a very lengthy TD, too. So Devontae Freeman came out in the fourth quarter, said, I don't want to give... Give, give my squad the L in this one, so I'm going to play big in the fourth quarter. He starts it off with a very big TD with just over three minutes left in the fourth quarter. So after that, this guy really didn't get that much going because all he was trying to do was throw deep. So on fourth down, he does not get it. So yeah, I'm going back to the workhorse. And Devontae Freeman going to the outside handoff right there. The one tackle, two tackles. He just... It, dude! I've been saying people have been embarrassing people's families in this one. That is a disgrace what he did to those two human beings, man. Two tackles broke both of them off, and he takes it to the house. Yeah, I wouldn't have wanted to. This guy, yeah, this guy didn't want to tackle me right at the end. He kind of dragged his defenders away from me. I don't blame him. I wouldn't have been I wouldn't have been wanting to try and tackle Devontae Freeman, too, after he just embarrassed those two guys. But, yeah, Antonio Camardi gets the pick. And it's pretty much in the bag at this point. This guy doesn't have a hope in hell of coming back. 42-17. to Devontae Freeman is an absolute beast. He was, just, he was just running people over every two seconds in this game. And he also has that breakaway speed too. Pretty nasty running back. 